So you clicked on this video because you want to know how to set up Olama on your Windows desktop to run open source models on your own. So let's jump right in it. Okay, so if you haven't already, go ahead and open up your web browser and navigate over to olama.com and you'll get the Olama website to show up. Next, we're going to go here and click download and we're on Windows. We're going to click download for Windows. Windows is still currently in preview, but go ahead and download that and that should show up in your downloads folder. Next, let's go to the downloads folder here and you should see Olama setup. And let's double click on the Olama setup. You'll get the screen here for you to start the installation here. Next, let's click install. And we can see that it's going to install Olama for us. So I'll let this install, pause and come back once it's done. Now, once you've successfully installed Olama onto your Windows PC, we're going to go down here to the bottom toolbar, click Show Hidden Items, and we can see that we have a little Olama head down here. And if we click on it, we can see we have View Logs and Quit Olama. So we know Olama has successfully been installed onto our PC. Next, we're going to jump into how do we run different commands with an Olama. Next, I'm going to go ahead and open up PowerShell. If you want to, you can use Command Line also. But for this tutorial, I'm going to use PowerShell. So I'm going to open this up. The first command I am going to run is going to be Olama help. And that'll show us all the available commands that we have with Olama. We're not going to go through every single command in this particular video. We're going to primarily focus on the run, the pull, and the remove command. But you may be wondering, how do I go about pulling down the models down into Olama so I can run them on my local PC here. So that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna jump back over into the browser and I'm going to briefly show you how you can go about finding the different models that are available to you. Now we're back at the Olama website. Now what we're gonna do is go to the very top here and click on the models here. Now this is gonna show us a list of models that we have freely available to us to download onto our laptop so we can run these models locally. Now, if we scroll down here, we can see we have quite a few models that are widely known. For example, Llama 2 here, we have Mistral, we have Lava here also. So this is just a quick way that you can go about finding models. But you can also go here and I want to grab the Llama 2 uncensored model. And I'm going to click on this model here and we get some different information about this model, like when it was last updated the size of the model here. We can see the parameter count. So we can see we're dealing with the 7 billion parameter count. And we can also see quantization has been implemented here at 4-bit, which allows us to run these smaller models here on our laptop here. And then you've got some other things related to parameters and licensing and stuff like that. And you also can click this drop down here and we can see the different models that are available or sub models that are available within Llama 2 also. So we can see we have the latest one that's tagged here and we can see we've got a 7 billion parameter one that we can download. And then we have the 70 billion parameter. So you need quite a bit of memory to run this particular model here. Now you can go over here and we can see that we have a command here, olama run llama 2 dash uncensored. Now, if we copy this here, this will allow us to run the model locally on our laptop. But if it's not existing on our laptop, it'll also pull that model down for us. So let's go ahead and just copy this command here. And we're going to go back over into PowerShell. And we are going to paste that command in here. So you can see we have Olama run Llama 2 dash uncensored. Now I'm going to click enter here and you can see that it's going and downloading this from the internet. And so depending on your internet speeds, it's really going to dictate how quickly can this model be downloaded. So what I'm going to do is let this model download and then come back and then show you how we can actually use this model here. Now that my model has successfully been downloaded, we can see that it's completed 100% and I'm greeted with this prompt, send me a message. Because I ran the Olama run command, as soon as that model is downloaded, it runs that model for us and starts accepting prompts. Now, let's just ask it a real quick question to see what type of feedback we're gonna get from the model. Let's say, what model are 
you. And you can see it's thinking. And again, these models have to load into your memory on your GPU. So it may take a decent amount of time the first time you actually prompt this model. So I'm going to ask it, what can you do for me? And see what it gets. And it says, I can help you with various tasks, such as answering questions, providing information, booking appointments, and stuff like that. So we can see we now actually have a completely uncensored Llama 2 model running on our laptop. Now, I'm going to exit out of this particular model, and I'm going to hit slash and buy. Now, I'm going to clear this here. And like I said, we were going to be going over a few other commands here within Olama. So you can get more familiar with how to actually uh, effectively use this on your laptop. So we're going to clear this here, and I'm going to run Olama list. Now, we can see that command lists all the models that I have on my laptop here. Now, what if I want other models without actually having to run those particular models? So now what we can do is actually run another command that I mentioned. So again, I'm just going to type in Olama help, and I am going to call the pull command here. And the pull command allows us just to strictly pull that model down without actually having to run it. So I'm going to call Olama, and I'm going to call pull, and I am going to pull in Mixtral, and you can see now it's reaching out. And it's actually downloading this model for us here. So again, I'm going to make you sit and watch me download this 26 gig model here. Come back after it's done downloading and then show you a couple other commands that we can run. Okay, I've downloaded a couple models while I was away here. That way you didn't have to watch me download them all. Decided against downloading the larger model of the 26 gigs because it was taking a little bit longer. So I downloaded some smaller models here for us to run in this particular demo. So again, I am going to type in Olama list to see the list of models that I've downloaded. So I've downloaded, most of the models are all under five gigs here. So I downloaded Code Llama, Dolphin Mistral, Falcon, and then I downloaded Llama 2 and Lava. Now, I'll briefly talk about a couple of these models here. So Code Llama is great for writing code, debugging code, things of that nature. And then down here at the very bottom, Lava is a multimodal model. So it allows you to input images and describe those images, but it also operates like a normal model does. So it allows you to generate te text by asking it questions. So that's how you can download the different models, whether you want to run them or just pull them down for later use. Now, what if I want to remove these models here? So let's say we are going to remove the Llama 2 latest. Now, what we'll do is run Llama RM for remove and Llama 2 latest. And we'll just hit enter here. And that should remove that model off our laptop there. So if we were to go and run Llama list again, that model is no longer in our list because we've removed that model from our laptop. Okay, let's test out a couple more of the models that we've downloaded here. Now, at the very bottom, we have the Lava model, which is a multimodal model, and it can actually analyze pictures for us. So let's test that out and see what that looks like for us. So I'm going to type in Olama Lava Latest. And wrong command, I forgot the run. So anytime you want to run a model, Olama run, then the model name. And we can now send it a message. So I have a image here that I've downloaded. We can see it's an image of a puppy. So I'm going to see if this model can actually detect what's in the image. What is in this image? I'm going to paste the path. Uh, actually, I'll just have to type it in here. Users. All right. So there we go. So we've added the image. And 
the model is now looking and it says the image shows a young golden retriever puppy sitting in the grass. It appears to be bright day with pleasant weather and there is a field of grass and you could read the rest there. So you can see the model does a pretty good job at analyzing that picture. Now, remember, again, this model is running locally on our laptop, so we're not actually having to pay any third party provider for this type of functionality. We're able to run this locally as long as we have the GPU power on our laptop. So that's the beauty of Olama is our ability to download very well functioning open source models and run them locally. So I'm going to exit out of this one here and let's see what other models we have here. So I'm going to test out the Code Llama model here. Olama run Code Llama. And let's see. So I didn't you don't actually have to enter that tag at the very end. So we can see that it's running. And now let's just ask this a code related question since Code Llama is used specifically for helping you debug code or write code. So I'm going to say write me sample code that or let's see sample Python code with multiple classes and functions and see how well this model does. So you can see it is writing out some simple boilerplate code here with a couple classes and some functions there for us. And then it gives us a, a brief explanation of that code. So I am going to exit out of here. And we have now seen the core functionality of Olama. Now, if you're interested in building your own chatbot on top of this, because we're just showing this in a command line. If you want to build your own chatbot, feel free to check out the video down below in the description or the playlist that appears up on your screen. And you will be able to walk through building your very own chatbot from start to finish using Olama on the back. Now, if you're liking this content and you found it useful and helpful, be sure to click like and subscribe if you like seeing content like this on a weekly basis. It really helps the YouTube algorithm out, push this content out to other people who will find it useful also. So I do appreciate you hanging around for this full video and hope to see you in the next.